evening, Jen. The report has not been released yet, but at the crux of this investigation is whether that bounce house was open to the public last weekend or not. And tonight, at least one state agency is reassessing their original finding, and the farmer is revealing new information about his background. This is Gary Bergeron. He's a farmer at Sullivan Farms' Rickety Ranch. He isn't giving on camera interviews anymore, but today, Told News 9, he does ride inspections for local carnivals as side work. News 9 confirmed Bergeron is a state licensed master electrician. He was at the police station Tuesday looking for more information. So was News 9. The police report is not being released. Police say the investigation is still active. Bergeron stands by his comments to WMUR on Sunday that the bounce house was not open to the public. In fact, Bergeron says the house was brand new and missing crucial parts, like a fourth tie down to keep the inflatable house from going airborne. He says he was contacting the manufacturer, hoping to get the house functional in time for the farm's wicked Halloween event, a fundraiser for charity. Meanwhile, the chief of Ride and Amusements in New Hampshire is reconsidering the determination that the bounce house was not open to the public last weekend, citing WMUR's interviews and video as reason his agency is reviewing the case more closely. Both of the boys who traveled 50 feet when the bounce house went flying are still in the hospital. Both families have retained attorneys and are declining to comment further. The state fire marshal's office is urging parents to ask two key questions before allowing their children to enter a bouncy house. Has it been inspected and is it licensed by the state? If the answer is no, officials say the risk simply isn't worth it. Live tonight in Nashua, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.